In this video, we're going to be creating designs that you can use frames and put images into the design. So I am making a slate uh, memorial for this puppy here that passed away. And so I've got a couple designs here and I am going to show you how I did this. We're going to be using frames and we're going to be using PNGs that have an area to put um, the image into. So I start in Creative Fabrica and I picked out some designs. Um, I have a Creative Fabrica all access account. I'll have a link below for that. They have a really good deal going on right now. Um, I suggest that you look into that, but this is one of the images that I downloaded. So this pet memorial, um, here is another one that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. Uh, don't forget somewhere between the hello and the goodbye, there was love, so much love. I thought that those were just beautiful. So I downloaded those. And then I just wanted to show you that there are so many memorials, images that you can use in your designing in Creative Fabrica. Um, for instance, this one here, this one is um, not for a pet, obviously, but um, they come in. Uh, square so that you can use them at not only on an ornament, but on a design like I am doing for a slate. So I am actually going to be creating a slate and I'm going to be creating an ornament. So I'm going to go to Canva. I'll start a new Canva here. Um, and I am going to be creating a custom size. So I'm going to go into custom size here. And the slate that I'm going to be using, it measures in at about seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches on the sublimation, sublimatable um, area. So I am going to make my design a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to go at seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm going to create both my designs in there, the one for the ornament and the one for the um, slate because I'll just shrink down the design that I use for the ornament. So now the first thing that I did was I uploaded images of the dog and I uploaded the designs from Canva, or I'm sorry, Creative Fabrica into Canva here. So I'll use this one first. This is what you get when you download this. And so I'm bringing in the design here and I'm going to stretch it out, get it to fit right in there. So now there is actually a hole here in this design, which is wonderful. That's exactly what we want. So then you pick your image up here and I'll shrink it down after I have it behind it. So now for this type of a design, you're just going to go up to position and you're going to send it to the back. Now what you do is you just position your picture to where you want it. Be in the design as big or as small as you want. Try not to leave the white area there. You can see that when I move it around. So you want to make sure that you've got the image in there fully. So that looks pretty good there. So now um, then I just um, went to text box here and add a text box. And so I put the name Charlie and then I'll add another text box and 2016 to 2024. And so now I'll move these text boxes down here. I'll make this a little bigger so you can see and move this down. And you can see the nice magenta lines that line everything up here on the design. So I want to make sure that I have Charlie right in the middle there. And then I'll add 2016 here. I'm going to be stretching this out. Go up here, make it bigger, get it nicely in there. But I'm going to change the font on this as well. I want to find something that blends real well with this. And same for this. So I'm not quite sure what size my font will be when I change it. But I'm going to start here. So I'm going to highlight Charlie here. And then I'm going to go up to my fonts. And these are some fonts that I uploaded from Creative Fabrica here. There's also fonts in Canva that you can use, but it's very simple to upload fonts into Canva. I have some other videos for that, and I'll have a link below to my other videos that show how to download from 
Creative Fabrica and then upload them into Canva. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find um, a font that I think will look good. I think this looks good. I want to make it look good with the design here. This one looks pretty good. So now I'm going to make this bigger. So you can make it bigger here with these dots or you can make it bigger here. So I'm just going to increase the size here. And I'm going to center it again. Make sure I've got it centered nicely when the magenta line comes on. And then I want this down in, um, in between the line here. One thing I noticed when I made it earlier is if I just tweak my font here just a little bit off to the side, and if you stretch it out even bigger, then you can see here really well get it fit nicely between the line so now i'm going to highlight this second text box here and i am going to go and find a font that will look good with this as well um, i think i use this one here so yeah that looks pretty good i wanted a thicker font because these lines in the design here in the wood i wanted you to be able to read the date with those lines. I'm going to make this bigger here. And now I'm going to center that with my Charlie. Now let's zoom out and see how that looks. Well, that looks pretty good. I might make this a little bit bigger here. There we go. So now we have our first design done. That's as easy as that to put together. So now I'm going to add a page. Now this time, I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to upload this PNG that I downloaded from C Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to bring this over here and make it bigger here. But I don't want to get too close to the edge because I don't want on my um, on my slate. This is the one I'm going to put on the ornament up above here the one with the brown background. And this is the one that I'm gonna put on the slate. So I wanna make sure I get this right in the center there nicely. Now I'm gonna start adding the images. Well, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go into Canvas Elements here and I'm gonna type the word frame in the search. So Canva has this awesome element called frames. And so you pick up your frame. I like this one, let's see them all here. And you can see all these different designs that you can use. These are called frames. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm bring this in, bring one in here. I'm actually gonna use two of them. So I'm gonna shrink it down, get it centered nicely and not too close to the end. Um, that looks pretty good, maybe a little bigger than that. All right, get that centered nicely there. And now I'm gonna do is cont hit Control C and Control V and duplicate that size there. So I've got a second one and I'm gonna bring that down here. I wanna make sure that I leave enough room to get his name in the middle. So I might get rid of this one and well, that does look pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller. So I deleted the second one, make this a little bit smaller and move it over this way just slightly. And now I'm gonna hit Control C and Control V again. And I'm gonna drop that right down into position here. Use the magenta lines, They see them in there? They really help to center everything. I'll make it bigger here too. Nope, that's a little too big. Um, really helps to center your design. It gets the bottom of this image, gets the side of this one, so that you can get them lined up perfectly. So now I'll make this a little smaller so you can watch this next step. So the next step is I'm going to go back to my uploads here, and I'm going to pull in the pictures that I want to use. So the first one I want to use is this one. I thought that was a beautiful image of their family with their puppies. And so I pull the first image in to, oh, I lost my, there we go. I'm going to pull this into the frame. You just slide it over and drop it into the frame. Now what you can do is double click on this and then you can adjust it where it's going to be in that frame. So I want the pup showing as much as possible with the family in there. So I've got the pup centered pretty good in there. So now I'm going to take this one. I thought this was beautiful, her with her pup. So I'm going to bring that, whoops, 
I did it again. I hit it into the wrong spot. So I'm going to bring it in and slide it right into that frame. And again, double click on it, and then you can um, adjust it into the frame where you want it. So I'm going to pull it down here slightly and see if I got that centered pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now you could add backgrounds to this as well. I'm going to duplicate this. So we've got this one done and I'm going to duplicate this one because I like that so far. But if I make some changes, I want to be sure that I have the original one there that I like. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to go back up here. So you just hit this plus sign to duplicate here. I'm going to go back up here and now I'm going to go to elements again and I am going to type in background because you can also put a background in. I like the white background here and I will probably leave it white, but I want you to see that you can add backgrounds in as well. So you just go to backgrounds here. You can put whatever you want, fall background, lake, whatever you want in there. Um, they have so many background designs and you can also find background papers in Creative Fabric as well and upload them. But I just want to make this real quick for you. So I thought this one was pretty. Um, so I'm bringing it in and I'll stretch my design out here. And then what you do is you go to position while this is highlighted here, you go to position and send it to the back and you can see that that brings in your um, your background and then uh, you can go to edit and you can use some of these filters here so you can change the color um, however you want to do that to whatever you want so um, that is a way that you can edit your background so now let's go into this one here now and I want to add his name and the date so I can go up here and I'll just hit, I'll highlight this, control C, and then I can come down here and hit control V and I'll do it again for the 20, 2016 to 2024, control C and bring it down and hit control V. So now I have got both his name and the date here and I'm just gonna pop them in here cause I'm gonna change that. Cause I want the fonts to look like they do in this PNG image on the left. So I'm gonna highlight the word Charlie and I'm gonna go over here again to fonts up here. And I am going to find a font that I think will look good with, um, with this uh, font here that they used. So I'm gonna find something close here Let's see. Um, see if I can find something here. I know I know I can find it because I found it earlier. Just give me a second here. There's one that matches almost perfectly to it. That's not it. Might be this one. I can't remember which one I use. Or here it is. This heart style font. So I'll change his name to this one. I'm going to make it smaller now so that it fits there. As soon as I get it to fit, I'm gonna pull it down and make it a little bit smaller here. Come down here just a little bit. And now I'm going to find a font that I think will look good with that as well. Go up here, do, 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 do. Um, this one. That might be the one that I used. I'm going to shrink it down. And yeah, that looks pretty good in there. So I'm going to bring this one in and get it centered nicely with the picture. And then his name centered nicely. I'm going to zoom in. The more you zoom in, the easier it is to control where you're putting these um, with your mouse. You know, so you can move it around, make sure that it's centered and get it exactly where you want it. See here, get this one centered too. So I can now I can see that I can make the word Charlie bigger. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make it bigger so that it just fits in there and comes right down to my date. One more. Yeah, let's see now. We'll zoom out and we'll see how that looks. Get that out of there. Uh, maybe make this one a little bit smaller. And then zoom in again and I'm going to 
bring it down just a little bit here. So if you zoom in, you can see you can get better control of um, moving it around. All right, so now let's look at this one. Oh, that looks great. So now it make it easy to pop the words right in there. You just highlight them, control C, and then go up here to this one and control V, pop it right into the same spot, uh, control C, and I can go back up and control V, pop that right in there. So now what I wanna do is I you can change um, this one I don't know that we can change that much on. Let's go in here to edit. Um, there's a few filters that you can see here, but nothing that I want to change on that as much. So I'm going to leave that one with the no filter. But on Charlie here, I'm going to go up and change the color of the word Charlie. And you can see that for this template, it's bringing in all the colors for this PNG and the colors that are in the pictures so that you can change this. And I kind of like a brown. He was such a pretty golden retriever here. So let's see, um, just change the color slightly to um, something that I think would look good with this pink here or this whatever this love color is. So now let's zoom out and see how that looks. Get off and I'll make this a little bit bigger for you to see. But now you can see that that worked out really well. I'm not going to change the color on this one because I like the black if you're using a background. So now it's very simple. So now we've got our frames in there. Everything's ready to go. So you go to share here and we're going to hit download. Now I have Canva Pro so I can change the DPI. So I'm going to go all the way up and I can have a transparent background. So I'm gonna do that as well. If you just have a free Canva account, you cannot change the DPI or add the transparent background because you can see they have the, the crown here. That means it's a pro option. I don't think it's necessary for this project if you're using regular, the free Canva version. I don't know if you have access to frames though. Let's go in here and look. So go to elements and frames. Let's see here. Oh, they don't have a pro biome, so you should be good. You can add frames without having a pro account, it looks like, um, because as you can see, the elements that uh, the elements that uh, have the crown by them, go back to elements here, these, anything with the crown by it is a pro. So those are ones that you can't use if you have a regular Canva account. So now we're going to go to share. I got to do this again because I was messing around. Okay, so I'm stretching it out and I'm going to do a transparent background and now I'm going to download these. So that is it. So now after I download these, it's going to take a while because they are so big from I increase the DPI, but on that slate, I want the DPI to be very clear. So I'm going to go into my downloads here. This will be done here in a second. And I will open a Word document here. Um, this is one that I used recently, but I'm going to open a new blank Word document while that's downloading because I print from Word. So I am going to go to my layout options and I will make this eight and a half by 11. Oh, maybe I'll make it eight and a half by 14. I might be able to fit both of them on there then. So I'll go to eight and a half by 14. I'm going to make it landscape so that you can see. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit here so that you can see the whole thing here while I'm working on it. Shrink it a little bit more. And also in layout options, I am going to set my margins at zero. Now let's see if my design is done here. Go back here. Oops, get rid of this one. Is my download done? Yep, my download is done. So now I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm going to unzip my design. This will just take a second here. I'm going to extract these files. And so now you can see what they look like here. I'll bring it in. There's the first one. This is the second one. You can see 
how well it's going to look. And the third one here, you're not going to see this one as well because it's got the, it's going to have the white background. So the dark letters aren't going to show up. So now I'm going to go to my Word document here that I was working on. And I'm going to insert these designs. So I'm going to go to Charlie here, Charlie one, and I'm going to bring in the first image because this is the one Oh, this is the one that I'm going to put on the ornament. So in Word, if you want to be able to move this around on the page, you're going to go to this icon, Layout Options, and it's up here too, Wrap Text Icon, same thing. You're going to go here and you're going to hit the Through feature, Wrap and Through. So now I can move this around on the page. And also, if you're under Picture Format, which I am, you can see the size over here. It came in at 7.5 by 7.5. Well, I'm going to put this on an uh, ornament that's slightly less than three inches. So I'm going to make this 3.2 inches, and that'll shrink that right down to the size that I want for the ornament. So now I'm going to move this over to the side, and I am going to insert my um, image from the next one here. Go to picture insert from this device and I'm going to think it was number three here and here we go came in right at the seven and a half by seven and a half that's exactly what we want but I'm going to go to the wrap and through feature just because I don't want it so close to the edge I'm going to center it on my page here so now when I print, I like to fill up my page completely. So I'll probably add some other images in here as well, because I want to fill up my whole sublimation paper. I'm going to be using HTV ROM 125 for this. But so to print now, I just go to file and print. And I'm not, I'm going to be using a different printer. So I'm going to go to my Epson EcoTank 2760. That's the one that I use for sublimation printing because I have converted it over to sublimation by adding sublimation ink. And you can see that it says it's offline. That's because I use a printer cable every time I print. Um, you're going to want to use a printer cable because Wi-Fi can glitch out on you and you'll get lines in your design if that happens. So I'm going to go under printer properties here and I'm going to make sure that I have premium presentation paper mat selected and high quality. Then under more options, you're going to make want to make sure you have high speed or bi-directional turned off. You, don't wanna, you do not want to have high speed for this. And you're going to make sure that you mirror your image or else when you press it on, your words will be backwards. So now I'm going to go into image options. And this is just something that I like to do. I like to check emphasize thin lines and I like to check emphasize more, hit OK, and then it is ready to print. And here you can see um, this outline here. This is the edge of the paper. So you can see that everything is going to print very nicely on here. So this is how I get a design ready from Creative Fabrica and Canva. So I will get this pressed. I'm really happy with these designs. I think, think they turned out very well. You can't go wrong with Creative Fabrica and then um, doing your editing in Canva. Um, I did do the slate 385 degrees Fahrenheit for eight and a half minutes with firm pressure and the ceramic ornament 385 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes with firm pressure and these were sublimation ready blanks. I'll have some links below for my technique for doing the slate and ceramic ornaments. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and see links below.